Hey everybody, welcome back. Again, my name is Eric Worre and welcome back to 10 Habits of the Network Marketing Superstars. In the first of this video series, we talked about the first four habits of vision, belief, simplicity, and positivity. And if you haven't seen those, don't think that just those four words are gonna give you an accurate description. If you haven't seen video number one, go back and watch video number one because this all ties together. It's really important. And again, just to reintroduce myself, um, my name is Eric Worre. I'm the author, probably best known as the author of GoPro, Seven Steps to Becoming a Network Marketing Professional, the creator of Rise of the Entrepreneur, number one DVD as far as a documentary film in network marketing, the creator of NetworkMarketingPro.com, the number one resource for online training and education for the network marketing profession around the world, uh, the creator of GoPro Recruiting Mastery, the biggest network marketing generic training live event around the world. This year we'll have about 20,000 people in attendance from all over the world. Uh, and the largest women's event, uh, the most powerful women in network marketing. Um, that's the largest that the industry has ever seen. Uh, we have over 5 million people every single week consume our content online. Over a million people are following us on Facebook and other platforms. And um, I've spent a career building a network marketing profession and also learning what the superstars know in order to be able to succeed in network marketing. And I believe success leaves clues. And I gave you four of those clues in video number one. Today, we're, I'm gonna give you a few more of the clues, okay? So you ready? All right, let's do it. Number five on these 10 habits is hard work. This might not, not be, it might not be what you wanna hear, but I will tell you that the network marketing superstars, they don't view work as a challenge. I, I, I will tell you, for most people in the world, work is a four letter word. Work is something that they wanna avoid. Work is something they want to get away from as quickly as possible. It's like, oh, I got to go to work. No, I can't go have fun because I have to work. You know, I, I can't go on vacation because I have to work. I can't go to the game because I have to work. I have to. I have to. Right? Or you're excited on a Friday because work is done. Oh, thank God. Thank God it's Friday. Right? So, not the, for the weekend, I don't have to work. Or people set their whole lives around this concept of getting to retirement so they don't have to what? Work. And the superstars in network marketing don't view work as a negative. They view work as an opportunity to fulfill their purpose, an opportunity to contribute to the world, an opportunity to grow as a person, an opportunity to help other people, an opportunity to build something, make something, create something. So yes, they work, but they're building their passion. This is this is their baby. This is their, this is their, their business child that, that they're growing up, right? So they're excited about the, the prospect of going to work. People, the superstars in network marketing, they rest just long enough to be able to have the energy to go back to work, but that's their passion. They love it. They enjoy it. They're always thinking about it because people who hate their job and they just go to, they, they go to work and they try and get away from it. Those people don't think about work when they, when they punch out at five o'clock and they finish the day. They don't even think about work, not at all. When they go on vacation or, or they're on the weekend or they're working out or whatever, they're not thinking about work. But guess what? The superstars, they're always thinking about it. They've always got the vision in their mind, right? Because their belief is so strong of what they're going to do. And, and, and taking that aspect and putting it into Discipline and work. There's honor in work. There's value in work. And there's joy in work. Now, I didn't get this at the very beginning. One of my early mentors was a guy by the name of Jim Rohn. Uh, he's passed away, but he was just a giant of personal development. He talked about discipline all the time. Discipline, discipline. And discipline to me was a negative word. He said, no, no, Eric, it's not a negative word. Discipline is what unlocks your future, discipline. 
This, this ability to discipline your emotions, discipline your activities, discipline your thoughts, to be able to put effort and activity into that discipline of, of whatever that habit's going to be. See, these people, they're focused. They work hard. These superstars, they work hard. But they, they're not unhappy. They're the happiest people I know. So some of you are like, hmm. How can hard work and happiness go in hand in hand? We're not talking about digging ditches. We're talking about building empires. And building an empire is fun. Building an empire is exciting. Building an empire is energizing. Yes, I work hard sometimes. But it's okay. I, you know, because I'm, you know, when I'm happiest in life is when I'm growing as a person and I'm contributing to the lives of other people. Growth and contribution is what makes me happy. And that's what makes me excited to do the work. So how does this translate to network marketing? For the superstars, they work when other people don't. They show up before other people even show up. They, they, they're, they're still working when other people have checked out a long time ago. They stay consistent in that work and in that discipline and in that effort when other people don't. When other people say, hey, let's go to the beach, they say, yeah, there'll be time for the beach. I'm building an empire right now. Okay, so they're, they're focused on this. This is important for them. And it separates the leaders from the average. And the average person in network marketing is frustrated. Okay, I want you to be a superstar. I want you to be extraordinary. And what leads to extraordinary is hard work. Got it? Now, um, let's talk about number six. Focus. These people are unbelievable. When it comes to focus, yes, they're hardworking. Yes, they got a vision, they got belief, they got simplicity, they got positivity. They're working hard. These are all habits now, understand. If this doesn't define you, see, let me back up to hard work for one moment. The average person who starts a business, a traditional business outside of network marketing in the United States today, spends about $65,000 investment to start that business. That's the average, okay? And their expectation is if they work hard and everything goes well, they're gonna get a return of that 65,000, a return of that investment in three to five years. That's their expectation. They work hard because of it. They're focused because of it, right? Why, and, and when it gets difficult, Let's say they borrowed money from, a, from family in order to be able to start a business. When it gets difficult and they don't feel like working hard, they have reasons built in, 65,000 reasons, plus all the family pressure and everything else in order to be able to continue to work hard to get a return on that investment. Now see, that here's the thing. In network marketing, you can join for just a tiny, tiny fraction of a traditional business, a tiny fraction. So when it gets hard, some people go, well... You know, I, I, I'm just going to move over here. So they, they, they've, they have a feeling that network marketing doesn't require hard work. Network marketing is magic beans. I'm going to join and push the snowball down the mountain and see if it turns into an avalanche, right? But the, the superstars realize that it's work that creates something. It's work that creates life. It's work that creates duplication and growth, okay? So focus is these people are not distracted, these people are single-minded. They've got absolute tunnel vision. Why do they have... Now, all of these things start to tie together, and I hope you're starting to see this. Focus. Why are they focused? Because they have a vision. Their vision is what causes them to focus totally on that objective, on that goal, on that mission, on that project, on that empire. They are focused because they have belief, they're focused. See what I'm saying? Simplicity helps them. Your know, focus helps them to keep it simple. This starts to tie into that. You see what I'm saying? So focus is huge. I mean, and focus creates consistency. If you're focused, you'll be consistent. Focus creates persistence. They'll just keep going. These people are not distractible. They are not movable. They are not... I mean, somebody can wave a 
dangle, you know, something in front of their face and they're not, they can't even see it. They're so focused. Now, other people, they join network marketing, go, oh, look over here, there's, there's uh, this company. Oh, look, there's this product. Oh, look, you know, I could do something with online marketing. Oh, look, I could, uh, you know, maybe I could have five businesses. Oh, look, these people, the superstars, they do one thing, they work with one company, they do it extremely well, they're absolutely focused on building the empire that is in front of them. And they do not allow themselves to be distracted. Okay? So focus is number six. Number seven is they're unreasonable. They're absolutely, this group are so unreasonable you can't even imagine. And what do I mean by unreasonable? They have a rigid set of beliefs. It's part of focus almost, but they're just, no one can convince them that network marketing isn't the absolute best option for a person who has an entrepreneurial bone in their body. No one can convince them of that. No one can convince them that their system, their simple focus should be complicated. No one can convince them. They're totally unreasonable. When it, when it comes to being positive, they're unreasonable about it. When hard work, they're unreasonable about it. Their belief system, they're unreasonable about it. They're not shakable. They're not movable. They're not distractible. They're unreasonable. And let me tell you something about being unreasonable. See, the reasonable person conforms to the world around them. In other words, the world expects them to think and act a certain way. So the reasonable person goes, well, I want to get along. So they just follow along. The unreasonable person asks the world to conform to their point of view. Therefore, all progress on this earth is dependent on the unreasonable person. Think about the top leaders in the world that you know. They're unreasonable. Every single, you know, Gandhi and Nelson Mandela and Churchill and Martin Luther King Jr. and you name it. All unreasonable people. So the same thing's true with business, whether it's Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or Elon Musk or Richard Branson or any of the other top leaders in the world in business. They're unreasonable. So they don't get along. If people don't see their point of view, they're, they're, they're out to change the world. So here's my question. What are you unreasonable about? What are you unreasonable about? Are you, are you just getting along all the time, going with the wind? Somebody in the, in the organization st brings in something and, they, and they, they start to add some complexity to your simple system. And you just become reasonable. Okay, well, you know, I just don't, I don't want, to, I want everybody to be happy. Or are you unreasonable? No. We're focused on this. We're focused on positivity. Somebody starts saying, well, you know, hey, you don't have to do any work. No, it's about hard work. It's okay. Hard work's not a, a, a dirty word. Hard, hard work starts to create the miracle of action, right? Unreasonable in their vision, unreasonable in their belief. Unreasonable. So I would ask you and give you permission to be radically unreasonable. Sorry, I'm not reasonable. When it comes to other people trying to convince you, understand, in every single conversation, someone's selling and someone's buying. And if somebody's coming to you and trying to sell you something that doesn't line up with your vision, it's your responsibility not to buy. They don't have to buy your story, but you need to make sure that you don't buy their story. Does that make sense? All right. So we've covered seven of the 10 habits of the network marketing superstars so far. Vision. Belief, simplicity, positivity, hard work, focus, and being unreasonable. Those are seven of the best habits that I've seen of the top earners in our profession. When we come back in a few days' time, you're going to get an email with part three of the 10 habits of the network marketing superstars. In the meantime, please make sure you comment, like and comment below. Give us your feedback on this. And I've got to tell you, I have some solutions for you in order to be able to transfer these habits into your business as we talk about it in uh, video three of our three-part series, okay? So I uh, hope you're enjoying this. And ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you 
is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day, and I'll talk to you again in a couple days. Bye-bye.